In this video, we're going to go over chapter 17, which deals with arrays. Well, first of all, what is an array? A SAS array is a collection of SAS variables. Using the array name and a subscript, an array element can represent any one of the variables included in the array. Arrays will help us to simplify uh, programming code. I'll give you an example that appears in the book. Uh, it's program 17.1 and program 17.2. We're going to achieve the same goal in two different ways. One way will be without using an array and the second way will be using an array. And you'll see the difference that using arrays makes in the programming. Simplifies it a lot. So, for example, let's say we have this data set health survey which consists of IDs, character variable, age, height, weight, heart rate, uh, uh, systolic blood pressure, diastolic blood pressure for this four people only. Uh, so it's included in the, uh, in the program. That's why we use the data lines uh, statement as usual. Now, this data in this particular data set whenever you see 999 that is a code for missing okay so actually the person who coded this or who gave you this data set instead of using a dot which is what we regularly use or space you know uh, use 999 as the code for missing observation and we want to replace those 999 with uh, dots right missing so well, I mean, we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven variables, okay? The ID obviously is not going to be missing, but the age could be missing, the height could be missing, the weight, heart rate, SBP or DBP, okay, could be missing. And therefore, it could be 999, right? So, we have to create we have to do an if statement per variable. So we're saying, okay, well, if the age is 999, then change the age to dot. If the height is 999, then change the height by dot, etc. You see, I mean, we had to do this six times. Imagine if your data set had 40 variables, 40 columns in a spreadsheet, which is not unusual for, you know, business and uh, finance and health data, you know, like real world data, it's not an issue. Then you have to write an if statement per val uh, variable. The, the code will be one page long, okay? So it will be very tedious. Well, I mean, let's run this and see if it achieves the goal. Yeah, okay. We get, you know, we replace the 999s with dots, missing observations. Now, there's a simpler way of doing, achieving this same goal using an array, okay? It will simplify things a lot. Okay, my data is going to be called health survey. This is what we're reading into the data set. Same input. Now, I'm going to create an array by, that, you know, by using this array statement. I'm going to call it miss. Now, in brackets, I'm going to put the number of variables in my array. Okay? The number of variables in my array. In this case, age, height, weight, heart rate, SBP, DVP, the ones that you're interested in. Let's do, then a do statement. From I, 1 through 6, if the variable, the if variable in this array that I call miss is equal to 999 at some point, then change that into dot. And, and then we drop the i because we don't want the i to appear on the health survey um, data set, right? We just want this but replacing the 999 with a dot. Let's run this and see what we get. Well, now we get the same thing. Imagine that you have 40 variables here. Well, 
this will save you a lot of time. Okay, this will save you a lot of time. Now, you can also use arrays for character variables. Okay, I'm going to give you an example here. This data set that is called UPT is, but this is basically um, program 17.3 that appears on page 264. Okay, we have this data set that we're creating UPT that is reading these values here, which are all character variables. Right? We have a name variable and Q1 through Q5. I, I don't know what they are. Maybe they're you know answers to questions in a questionnaire, A, B, C, different options. I don't know. Okay. Now we have the in format um, statement telling SAS that my name variable is a character variable, and we're giving it uh, 15 uh, characters. Now Q1 through Q5 are character variables with only one character. Now the whole point here is we want to make all these letters and words uppercase. So I'm creating an array up and then six is the number of variables that we have one, two, three, four, five, six. Variables being name Q1 through Q5. Now do from i equals 1 to 6, whichever you know variable in the array, we're going to make it uppercase. Okay, So we're going to replace this, uh, what we had in the array originally, with uppercases. Okay, so upcase, up of the ith variable, which is, you know, the ith variable in the up array. And we, when we run this, you can see that everything became uppercase. Now, you can also perform operations on every variable of a data set. Let's say that, for example, you want to multiply all the numerical variables by a certain value, or you want to change all the character variables in a data set to uppercase. You could do that very easily with the array. Okay, so with an array statement. So this program that I wrote here is basically answering question um, two on page 270. Question two on page 270 says, starting with the SAS help data set fish, create a new temporary data, data set inches where each of the variables height, width, and length one through three are converted by dividing their values by 2.54. Use an array to do this. But first, let's take a look at the fish data set inside the SAS help library. Let's see how it looks like. So we have species, which is a, cat a character variable. We have the weight, length one, length two, length three, and height and width, I guess, of the fishes. And maybe this is in centimeters or some other units, right? That are not inches. And we want to convert those to inches. So we divide by a conversion factor of 2.54. So, well, I'm going to call my data set inches as, as requested in the exercise. Set sashelp.fish is saying, okay, well, we're reading from uh, the data set that is already in SAS, FISH, which is in the SAS help library. And then we use an array. And this is keeping on the spirit of program 17.4, OK? We call this array all nums, but because we, we want to you know, just perform this operation on the numerical variables. Obviously, we don't want to divide the species by 2.54 because that doesn't make sense, right? Now, all nums is the name of my array. I don't know how many uh, numerical variables I have in the data set. So I want to do it for every single one there, OK? For every single one of the variables. So actually, 
I could, you know, count them and put the number here, but if you don't really know how many numerical variables you have there, just, you know, put an asterisk. Okay? And this will take care of it. Now, this underscore numeric underscore is telling SAS it just use the numeric variables in the array. Okay? Now, do from i equals 1 to, well, we didn't know how many numerical variables we had, right? Well, uh, SAS can count that for you. Okay. Two dimension of all numbers. So it's counting how many variables were stored in this array by saying that, you know, we're just picking the numerical variables, the numeric variables. So this will count how many you have, dimension of, the, which is the IM of all numbers. Okay. Now I'm going to make the elements of the ith variable in my array equal to whatever they were divided by 2.54. Whatever they were up to now, obviously, because we have copied them straight from uh, the fish data set. And then we divide that by 2.54 and drop the i, run it, and then print it, and let's see what we get. See, we get the same variables, weight, length, length, 3, 1, 2, 3, height, width, and now the numbers have been converted, have been divided by 2.54. Now the species didn't change at all. Why? Well, because we said numeric, only the numeric variables, okay? You can do also something similar for character variables. I will leave that to you. You just have to read program 17.5, which explains how to do that very well. There are many more things that you can do with arrays, but these are the basic ones. Uh, you know, for um, more details, you can or you should read chapter 17. Okay?